so welcome back to another training vlog. Uh, today is Saturday, so this is the kind of bigger session of this week. Since last week's training vlog, I went for another single on the front squat. And kind of blew my training load for the week, so it failed 200 kilos. Um, and it just like, front squats are way of fatiguing you that other squats, that like back squats tend to not. So today is some kind of over speed runs at a kilometer. So it's 1K, I think that actual run is like 960 meters down a bit of a hill. Um, so working for like running faster and faster over a slightly long dis longer distance. Depending on how those 1Ks go, I might do 400 meter repeats afterwards on a different section of road and not on a hill, just on a flatter piece. So yeah, I'll be bringing you with me. You'll see the weather today is, is pretty shit, so I'm not really going to be able to video a huge amount, but I'll try and get as much as I possibly can. Um, it's pretty windy and shitty here. It's around 3 or 4 degrees Celsius today, and it's windy as fuck, and it's raining. So you'll get to see that later on this evening then. I'm squatting, um, so back to back squats now. Ah! The original plan all along was take a bit of a hiatus from back squats and go front squatting for a while and try and front squat something quite heavy. Um, 190, so I've done 190 twice in the last week, uh, or eight days actually. So 190 is there, 195 is like my old PB, so I really wanna hit 200. Uh, kilos for a single that might happen still um, but at the moment I'm just going to have to go back to back squatting today and see how that goes training overall is going very very well uh, like everything is tapering in nicely for the end of March so just have to see how it goes so that 1k is just done um, pace for a 5 minute mile on 1k is like 307 I think if you're going to be flat paced the whole way. So that was three minutes flat for just less than 1K, uh, which is good. I'm happy enough with it. The plan for today was if the overspeed training was too slow, do more of it, like try and really ramp up the pace. Um, but that was pretty much bang on pace there. So it's on to 400 meter capacity runs now, which are shit. So that's the 400s done, uh, five 400s in total. First one, like nice and slow pace. Uh, I didn't put a stopwatch on, but I'd say it was around 90 seconds. It was pretty much the same as the last one. The second one then, 76 seconds. Third one was slightly faster again, just under 76. Fourth one, same as the third, so like 74 or something. Uh, and then the fifth one was just slow, so like 90 seconds again. Uh, I do understand that I need to start videoing the running. I just don't have a GoPro at the moment and everyone in my house was busy to drive along behind me. So that's something we'll fix for next week. Uh, yeah, and just time to eat some food, chill out for a while. It's like quarter to four um, and I'll probably squat at around half five or six o'clock. Uh, so hopefully we'll get the squats done without too much heartache. This is the start of the evening session. This is a very similar warm-up to what you would have seen last week in last week's vlog. Just using the empty bar, doing some squats. Obviously, this is back squats instead of front squats. My legs are pretty bait at this stage. It's been maybe like an hour and a half since I finished running. So I've had about two liters of water, had some yogurt, and then just sat on the couch watching rugby matches. Um, but yeah, started the same way as every session, just some like jogging or walking on the treadmill my quads are absolutely goosed from the 400s so i'm just trying to do like those backwards walks on the treadmill there's just a slight incline on the treadmill uh, so even at like very moderate pace you can get a, a pump in your vmo pretty quickly which usually tends to like once my vmos are warmed up that tends to get rid of most creakiness in the knees and and any kind of referred pain i get from having tired quads just in a similar fashion just starting with 60 kilos then 
I'll be going for five reps later on in the session. So usually my first kind of uh, warm up set, I will do the same with the reps. So if I'm doing 10s, so I'll do 10 with 60 kilos or 70 kilos. Today I'm doing five, so I'll do five. Uh, I'll do a number of rounds of these. And it's just like, this is just getting the body moving, trying to get rid of some of that lactic acid that's still in my quads from earlier on. Um, focusing on one or two things in particular. The first is making sure the bar placement is, is okay. Because I've been front squatting so much lately, I when I go to back squat, I tend to put that bar too high up on my back. So like up on top of my traps, which isn't ideal for me. Like I'm pretty tall or taller than I should be for squatting big weights. So making sure that bar is down in like a middle bar position or just slightly lower than high bar. I find if I don't do it in the warm up that it, it really does affect me later on in the session. And and obviously if that bar is right up in my traps when I go to do the heavier weights, it has a big effect. So you'll see the singlet is out for tonight's session. Uh, the singlet's actually out because of the running beforehand. Uh, so big quads don't make for, for a good relationship between that. Uh, for good running because of obviously like friction. So uh, weightlifting singlet is a great way to get over that. It's on to 160 now. So 160 is, on front squats is pretty much the weight where I know how the session is going to go, but on back squats 160 is still like pretty much a warm up weight, don't have to pay too much attention, especially because it's usually the first weight that like knee sleeves and, and uh, belt goes on. So this is just a very, very simple set. Here's on to 190. I tend to do a lot of like my prep phase with very much squats to parallel, where I'm having to work hard in that like amortization phase, having to really slow myself down at the bottom. Whereas now, when it's like in a strength phase, I pretty much just brace and allow myself to use that stretch shortening cycle. And here's the set of five. So thanks very much for watching. Uh, throw your questions and comments below. Uh, all shit talk is very, very welcome. Thanks, guys.